We begin tonight with the devastating weekend car crash in Guilford County. Good evening, I'm Julie Luck. And I'm Chad Silber. The tight knit community is holding each other even tighter tonight. Three people died in the crash. A firefighter, a 26 year old woman and a 15 year old girl. Two others were hurt, including the teenage driver. Now their friends and family are raising money. Local businesses are pitching in as well. WFMY News 2's Amber Lake shows us they're doing whatever they can to help the families who will never be the same. A trip to the salon means something more today. This really is a close knit community. After a car crash killed three people, it's now a way to help grieving families. As you can tell, everyone wants to help out and pitch in. In Gibsonville, Bombshell Salon and Spa is raising money for the Latero family, a family that knows about giving back through their restaurant right down the street. We would always go to lunch there or dinner, and they were all very sweet, and they're always looking to help other people in ways that they can also. 16-year-old Alexio Latero was injured in a crash that killed his 26-year-old sister, Anna Latero, and a teenage family friend. The salon is raffling off a basket of goodies in hopes of collecting money for the family. We wanted to help out other small businesses. We know it's very hard for them. They've been closed until further notice, and we wanted to give back to the family. We're all saddened by what's gone on. Um, we have, you know, deep love for Reno's and deep love for the Latera family and for, for everyone involved. Businesses in Gibsonville started a fund for the Latero family at Fidelity Bank. State Farm agent Jessica Summers says within hours of opening the account, it had already seen lots of donations. They're great folks and, and you know, we just we pray for them vigilantly over this time. Highway Patrol says 16 year old Alexio Latero lost control of his car in rainy conditions on Saturday, colliding with another car. The crash killed his sister and their family friend, 15 year old Sarah Martin. The other driver, Greensboro firefighter Rick Merle, also died. His wife was critically injured. We want to pray for everybody and, and bless, it, bless them as much as we can as a community as a whole. Blessing them, one raffle ticket at a time. That's just something we firmly believe in is community and, and taking care of each other.